Okay. Yeah, vote for t Trump. Save this Let country. Me out of this. I don't want We're all for him. You're all for him? You mean you think Obama's been doing a good job? Oh, God, he's done a terrible job. That's your opinion, please. Yeah, but the blacks are poorer than ever. We're at the South Point, and uh, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of people here in line for the Trump rally. Yeah. And you support Donald Trump? Yeah, I support, I'm his intern. Educate yourself on every candidate, and you will decide Trump is the man. Are you, you guys are the first people in line here? How how early did you get here? We got here at four. We got here at four thirty. In the morning? Yep. You've been standing right here the yeah, whole actually, time. We had us over there and then over here. Wow. Wow. Awesome. Cool. Well, you're gonna get in there and make a lot of noise or what? Yeah. Whoop whoop whoop. Ready? Yeah. Oh my God. Viva! Viva! Donald Trump! Donald Trump for president. Thank you very much. Oh, Trumpets! Trumpets! <laughs> I'm so excited to be here, I can't stand it. It's awesome. <laughs> What makes you guys so excited about Trump? Uh, we think he it has a lot of class. He can bring class back to the White House. He can help with our country and fix what's been destroyed in the last eight years. Yes, and he has a beautiful wife and a beautiful family. And she will be a great first lady. And he's a wonderful parent. And a wonderful man. Yes. And he will do what he says he's Going to do. Yes. <laughs> Yay! I think Democrats suck. And I really love guns. And I am a supporter of the Second Amendment. I like Donald Trump because he has heart and he believes in the American spirit. I also like Marco Rubio and I like Ted Cruz because they're going to kick butt. And I think that's what. Well, I really think that we need to have someone like Donald Trump that believes in American spirit. Take America back. Bull Star Mother once said, and I quote, my son did not die for this nation to become a socialized country. He died for its liberty and freedom, unquote. All right, thank you. There's another one. A relative of mine once said, and I quote, no bastard ever won a war dying for his country. He won it by making the other dumb poor bastard die for his country. General George S. Patton. Going to jail. <laughs> well, I want somebody to change the politics of the country, you know. And I, I want, I'm here for, I'm here for people, the pro-life people, all the aborted babies that were killed, and all the years. That's got to be stopped. And God we trust is our country motto. Let's keep it that way, because who's ever in there now doesn't care for the unborn children, you know. We got to do something to speak. I speak. I'm here strictly to give my opinion on that. Somebody has to speak for the children that are, that are being killed. You know. Trump, Trump, Trump! Just like that.
Where are you guys from? I'm from originally Wyoming on a ranch in Wyoming. I'm a cowgirl and I will always be a cowgirl and I'm American. What about yourself? Well, from Wyoming too, but now here. Cool. Can we get a cheers oh, to Don? Well, we do live here now. Cheers. Cheers. I want a border. I want a wall. I want our jobs back. I mean, Trump's going to do all that for us. I mean, how can you vote for anybody else? That's the way I feel. You know? And I was a bartender at the Flamingo Hilton for about 12 years. You know, so it was a good job, but there was a lot of illegal aliens there taking Americans' jobs. Good tipping jobs. I mean, come on. Yeah. There we go. When he said that he was going to build a wall and make Mexico pay for it, heck yeah, that was it for me. Because I've been hurt by an illegal alien. I was T-boned in a car accident. All he had to do was move. He wasn't liable for anything. I lost my job. I lost my car. I went to the hospital. I had to pay the hospital bill. That's happening to Americans every day. And is Obama out there helping us? No, he doesn't care. He was speaking to me, and I think he's very clear, and I think the news media just has a tendency to want him to say more than he wants to say. I know what he's saying, and I think most of these people do, too. <laughs> I love it. And, and when he explains things, everybody wants him to explain more. I got it. I know what he's saying. You gotta say more. Why waste words? You know, a fool is known by the multitude of words. Huh? <laughs> huh? Picture you too. Custom made bracelets. See, you can make, you can make these up at home. These pop in and out, so you can put anything you want on there. What do you got in there? Make America Great, the Border Patrol, the Trump. Turn it just on the back. Trump, Trump. You having fun today? I made that myself. You did? It's a good yeah. hat. I'm gonna get one more American one. I'll owe you one more. Thank you. According to Forbes, I'm in the top 120,000 in the United States. So my net worth exceeds $20 million. Uh, I'm sick and tired of government always mooching on me because I own a lot of property. They're, I'm like a fat cow, and they're like fleas, ticks, mosquitoes, lice, bacteria, everything just on me like parasites. And now, I also drive around in California with my car with magnetic signs on it, six of them, <laughs> that says, make America great, Trump for president, he has balls. And in the beginning, I used to get 10 middle fingers a week. Now I get none. Go Trump! Go Trump! Make America great again! Go Trump! He's our man! He's our man! He's too strong! He's believable! He's doing it all for the right reasons! Go Trump! All right, that's it. There you go. You got all the guys want more? Right. All right, you guys. You should, I mean, you should call him.
What do you like about Donald Trump? You know, there's, there's pessimists, there's idealists, and there's realists. I see him as a pragmatist. Nice. You know, there's, there's a time to awake and a time to down. Where do you get your style from, man? I'm an old soul. Feel it. Feel that man. What's your name? America. This country needs to come back. We need to do the Pledge of Allegiance in school again. The kids need to grow up respecting people and God and learning and saying prayers in school and grow up with um how would you say the word? Um respect. We need someone who can understand construction and build our wall and our for our immigration. And even when he builds our wall, maybe he could have advertising on it that he could sell and we could use the profits for the immigration. Overflow room, so you can watch it on video screens. We're gonna do that. They send everybody to the mall. I've heard. Venue. I've heard that they've been having issues, but I think. Love that tickets. shirt. See, I will maybe I'll play the center. You broke my foot. I got MS, lupus, wrong me if I try the pool. I usually don't use my illnesses. But for this, I will. <laughs> There's uh, 75 more seats at the Grandview Lounge right now. If anybody wants to go there, that for the viewing. Are you gonna come across with some of the some of the handicap? I, I haven't seen any go off. Everybody, right here, take one step back, okay. right now. Our Raven said this morning uh, there's still tickets. You know why? Because they want to show huge crowds and they don't care about giving away too many tickets and filling the room up. Because they want to show that there's way bunch of people support them. They give away way more tickets than there's room. Does Las Vegas love Donald Trump? Income taxes are banned, but guns are welcome. Back up! Right now! Back up! Back up! Back up! Alex! I was Alex! I was Alex! She needs to go. For the ramparts we watched were so gallant. Above 
comes bursting in See, they are letting people in. I was in line, I am telling you. I was in line. They pushed me. And our flag was still there. There's a whole thing is fine, sir. The guy got real upset with me about my dog. Why? He didn't even ask me if it's a service dog. He said, you can't have any dogs. I said, oh, yes, I can. Mexican water, to be honest. <laughs> Probably not going to eat them anyway. Believe it or not, they just hand me these notes. You know, I'm not using teleprompters. I'm not reading speeches. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I don't do that. Six hours I drove to be here. Six hours. We stood in that line and the cops was, oh, there's plenty of room for everybody. Don't worry about it. Because people were cut in front of me and I was getting mad about it. And he said, don't worry about it. You'll all get in. And I have tickets and I drove six hours. I've got cancer. I'm never going to get a bit of cancer. And I'm really upset about this. I'm not doing it. It doesn't mean that we're not angry, and we are, I think, all angry. But soon we're going to be extremely happy. Yeah! We love you, Donald. I didn't choose one hand to get they're already up, sir. Uh, they're already up. Handicaps are already up there. I've been here since 11, and there's no handicap going oh. up since. Yes, they have. Where? Trust me. Is this the line to get in? Or? There's. When are they going to let this people in? I don't know. So so got, got, got back up. I bet you Trump will change all of this. Maybe he will. Trump, 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 Trump. Trump, Trump, Trump. Let's go. Get Trump. Get Trump. Radical Islamic terror. Who's going to pay for the war? Mexico. Mexico, 100%. I'll help you. It takes guts to run for president. I've never done this before. It takes guts. All together, what's our theme? Make America great again. I love you. We're going to win. We're going to win.